Twinkle Khanna is not one to mince her words. Be it her tweets or her blog, she knows how to make a point. And she doesn't care whether she is politically incorrect, most of the times. Twinkle says what she wants to, and that too, in the wittiest way possible. And considering the controversial brought that Sanjay Leela Bhansali's magnum opus Padmavati is embroiled in, it is highly expected out of the Padman producer to express her opinion about the same. In her latest Sunday blog for the Times of India, Twinkle takes a jibe at Haryana BJP leader Suraj Palamu. Yes, this is the same person who offered a bounty of rupees 10 per hour for beheading Deepika Padukone. Twinkle Khanna says, The silver lining to my sleep-deprived cloud is that at least I get some quiet time to acclimatize my brain as well as my body to India's boiling climate where people are busy offering bounties, rupees 25,000 to blacken Kamal Hassan's face. Cut Farooq Abdullah's tongue and earn rupees 21 lakh. A slap across Lalu's son's face could score you a cool roar. And finally, of course, from Haryana BJP's Suraj Palamu, a grand prize of rupees 10 crore for beheading Deepika Padukone. And living by Gandhi's quote, if I had no sense of humor, I would long ago have committed suicide. Twinkle, of course humorously adds how all she wants to know before applying this job for Suraj Amu is if the bounty is inclusive of GST or not. I quickly shoot off an email to Mr. Suraj Palamu. Dear Sirji, it is lovely that you are supporting your party's claims that the Indian economy is booming by offering such generous payment terms. I did have a question though before I apply for the job. Is the beheading fee of 10 per hour inclusive of GST? Toodles, T. But that's not it. Padmavati was initially scheduled to release on December the 1st but the makers voluntarily deferred the release owing to the huge controversies and protests by some religious and political factions of the society. For all the latest entertainment news, download Indian Express app.